Привет, друзья! How is it going? My name is Fedor. Today we're gonna compare two words that both mean thank you and the words are спасибо, спасибо and благодарю, благодарю. Okay? As I said before, they both mean thank you and they both can be used in formal and in informal situations. But there is a slight difference between them two. Благодарю is going to be more official. If you want to say just, you know, a little bit, if you want to be a little bit more respective to person, respectful, then you would most likely use благодарю. Well, спасибо still can be used. It's not going to be a mistake to use it uh, with, you know, maybe a president or a person of like huge respect. It's not going to be a mistake or it's not going to be inappropriate. But if you want to highlight the significance of that person, you might want to say благодарю. Okay, благодарю is more official, it's more kind of like old school of saying thank you. Okay, so it's going to be more uh, respectful, благодарю. And also, we don't really use благодарю in informal situations. We can still use it, but it's not going to be as often um, as спасибо, as common as спасибо. So, спасибо is mostly for informal only. Um, you know, благодарю cannot really be used in informal because of how, how much respect you're trying to show with that word. Okay? So, let's look at examples with each of these words just to give you guys some idea. Let's look at спасибо first. Спасибо тебе за помощь. Спасибо тебе за помощь. Thank you for help or thank you for helping. Okay? And благодарю вас за поддержку. Благодарю вас за поддержку. Okay? Uh, it's like, thank you for your support. Thank you for supporting. And uh, again, the second example is going to be more of when you're talking to maybe an older person or maybe uh, a person of respect. You say, благодарю. Okay? And that's about it, about the differences between these two words. But I want to take it just a step deeper and look at the root of these words and where they come from. Спасибо it consists of two, um, two kind of words. Спаси and бо. Uh, бо, I think it's a shorter version of бог. Бог in Russian is God. Okay? So, спаси бог is going to be save, uh, save God. But I think it means like God save you. But we don't say that in English. We say God bless you. So, when you say спасибо, it's kind of like tied to God bless you. Okay, while благодарю consists of благо and дарю. Благо means goodness or maybe abundance. Дарю means giving or gifting something. So when I say благодарю, I'm giving you goodness. I'm gifting you goodness. While as I say спасибо, I'm, I'm saying God bless you. I'm giving you blessings. Of course, nobody's going to take that like literal that when I say спасибо, I say God bless you. We receive both of these words as thank you, okay? But I think it's going to be, it would be interesting for you to know kind of the roots of these words and where they come from, okay? So, спасибо is giving, giving somebody blessings. Благодарю is giving, giving somebody goodness or abundance, I guess. And that's about it, about these two words. Let's just recap what we've learned. Спасибо is mostly... Um, can be used in formal and informal situations, while благодарю is mostly going to be used only in formal and only when talking about like somebody of real, real respect. Okay? But this still can be used in both instances. And that's it about today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Пока-пока.